What's going on? This is Enoch back with another set of best Android applications for you to check out. And I've got promo codes for a couple of them, so join my Telegram channel because I'll be posting them in a few days. Link in the description of this video. TimeWise is a pretty useful statistics application you will love to have. And if you ever wonder how much time you actually spend on your phone, this app shows you not just a vague estimate, but the real numbers. It gives you a full, detailed breakdown of your digital habits for the current day, over the month, and even over the past year. It's like those Spotify rap recaps, but for your phone usage. So for screen time, phone unlocks, notifications received, most used applications, and the period you use your phone the most, this application shows you total hours, daily averages, and which applications add up the most of your time. When I tap on the profile icon here, there is a 2024 wrapped. When I tap on it, the app prepares slides of my phone usage stats for the previous year, which is crazy looking at it. But it doesn't just throw stats at you, it makes it fun. Imagine see how many books you could have read or movies you could have watched instead of scrolling endlessly. Here it says, the total hours I spent using my phone last year is equal to watching the entire Harry Potter series 226 times. Whoa! And aside the statistics, the interface of this application makes the experience even much better. So check out TimeWise Year Wrapped, super impressive application. Next is an awesome search application. It is called D-Search. And the way this app works, let's say you have a photo or video but didn't know where it came from or need to find similar images online. You can upload the image or video, tap the search, choose from the various search engines, you get Google, Yandex, Bing and Lenso AI. And it will search the internet for matches with over 90% accuracy. And when you use the Google option, you will actually find the source of the same image. Just like this image, I very well remember I saved it from an X account and here the search results shows the X account which posted it. Same for this video which I saved from Facebook, but the search results actually shows where the original post was made, which is TikTok. The results do come out pretty well, so you can get similar images to what you are searching for. When it comes to providing similar images, it is fantastic and very useful in case you are working on a project and you need similar looking images for it. You can just hop on here and then you will be sorted. And the best part, you can save images from the search results for later, as to whether you are verifying an image, tracking down a source, or just looking for something visually similar. D-Search is a super incredible application you must have, and it has no ads, and yeah, it is free. Can't complain about that. For the multitasking folks, App Organizer is an application you must check out, and if your home screen looks like a chaotic mess of random applications, App Organizer can fix that. It lets you sort your applications into folders and access them from a notification shortcut, home screen widget, or even an edge sidebar. So once you open the application, you tap the plus button, select a set of applications, provide the other details like folder name, color, and overall appearance of the folder. And at the bottom, you can choose where you would like to access this folder from, whether from the notification panel or a floating bar, which can be accessed from the sidebar. So you can group productivity applications, social media apps, and some daily utility applications and access them from anywhere you like, enabling a clean and simple home screen. And imagine quickly accessing a particular application from the notification panel or from the edge sidebar. Pretty awesome. And if manually sorting applications sound like too much work, the auto folder feature does this for you. Gaming applications in one place, productivity applications in another, done in a quick click. It's all about making your Android experience cleaner and faster. In a recent upload, I talked about some incredible system management applications you should install to help manage your device on the system level. And so if you haven't watched that, feel free to check it out after this video. And on this list, Gaeta is another powerful storage management application you must check out. And so if you're running low on storage, this application clears caches, removes leftover junk files, and even finds duplicate files you didn't know you had. It works similar to the popular SD made application, and so if you love that application, certainly you'll be interested in Gaeta. You get system cleaner, cache cleaner, which clears caches of applications and enables a smoother user experience, especially when it clears caches of several applications you hardly use. The app finds them all, and with one tap, they will all be cleared. It finds duplicate files also. Whether you need to move files to an external storage device, it's got an exporter tool for that. 
It also gives you a full storage analysis so you can see what's taking up space. Plus, there is an automated cleaning option that is the scheduler at the bottom. You can set what it should do like clearing thumbnails, empty folders, APKs, app leftovers and more. So you can set it and forget it. Your phone stays optimized without you lifting a finger. Next up on the list is called Everplan. And managing money can be a hard thing for some of you and that is where this application comes in. It's an only one finance tracker that handles expenses, income and subscriptions all wrapped up in a clean material design interface. So it allows you to add your wallet, add some initial amounts, and you can set any of them as your primary wallet if you add more than just one. You can easily add a transaction on your wallet, whether expense or income, and a great feature is you can add your own categories. Some similar applications come filled with several categories, which most of them are unnecessary, only a few. So custom categories on this application is cool makes it easy and quick to assign a transaction to a particular category. Everplan also manages subscriptions, so you can add any subscription you've got running, add a reminder or renewal date, and the app's alerts will make sure you are never hit with an unexpected charge again. It supports multiple currencies with automatic conversion, and it even gives you visual reports so you can see exactly how you are spending your money. So whether you are budgeting or just tracking your expenses, this app keeps you on top of your finances. And the developer has been kind enough to provide 50 promo codes for you to unlock the premium version of this application. So again, join my Telegram channel and you will get one once I share them there in a few days. If you want to make your profile picture or social media posts stand out, Clip to Shape lets you crop images into fun vector-based shapes like hearts, ghosts, ducks, and more. So maybe for a unique social media design or post, or even a cool looking minimal wallpaper, you can just choose the image, select your shape. You can also customize the background with different colors or even create a transparent background. So you can have PNG files, perfect for designs. Go ahead and save your creations and reuse them for whatever you want. It's a simple tool, but super handy if you like playing around with visuals. If you are into photography and love the vintage film aesthetic, Film Simulator is an open source application that gives your images that classic film stock look. It comes with tons of cool vintage style photo filters which you can easily apply on your photos. And there are several filter categories so depending on your specific style, you can find one easily. Plus, you can use the search to find again specific filters and they are actually named with photography terms. I'm not really into photography so I don't know what to call it but if you are, you definitely know it and you can easily find whatever you are looking for. You can also make filters favorite if they really match your vibe. No need for expensive filters. Just pick a style and apply it. And aside the filters, you can manually edit the exposure, temperature, saturation and more. It's a pretty simple but useful photo editing application. Feel free to check it out. So on image editing, this next application is very popular and useful. It is called remove.bg and if you've used this before, you know how incredible this application is. Removing backgrounds from images used to be a Photoshop job until tools like these came around. So you just upload an image and it does it in 5 seconds automatically. And it handles the edges perfectly, even tricky areas like the hair. You can keep the background transparent, swipe it out for a solid color or add a whole new background. You can add effects and even restore or erase some parts of the image if the background removal did not go well, which usually isn't the case. And the web version is even better. So whether you need a clean product photo or just want to edit yourself or even create the perfect profile photo, this application makes it ridiculously easy. And by the way, the current channel profile icon was created right here. So go check it out and create yours. Not everyone will be interested in this next application, but it's still a very useful app. It is called Video to Frames Converter and this application does exactly what it says. It extracts frames from videos. Sometimes you are watching a video from your gallery and you maybe want to share an image from the video to a friend. What do you do? Your first option will be to take a screenshot. Well, this might not bring out the best looking image in terms of resolution. So with this application, you can load the video here, skip to the parts you want to save as image and these skipping tools here are very cool. You even get to skip in milliseconds, making it easy to get that very frame you need to save. And whether you need a single frame, a batch, or every frame in a clip, this app makes it easy. You can save images in PNG or JPEG format, 
adjust the quality, and of course, maintain the original video resolution. It's useful for content creators, designers, or anyone who needs high-quality screenshots from videos. And then we have a game that is simple but addictive. It is called Cube Angle, and this game throws you into the world of fallen orange cubes, and your job is, you have to guide a white cube through the chaos while collecting stars. It is fast, challenging, and one of those games you will tell yourself you will play for only 5 minutes, but you will end up spending an hour on. First up is this application called Auto D&D. &D. And as simple as it sounds, it is very genius. So you know that moment when you are deep into a video call or getting lost in a game, and then a notification snaps you out of it? That is where Auto D&D &D comes in. It automatically switches your phone to Do Not Disturb mode whenever you open specific applications. You get to choose which applications can trigger it, so whether it's Netflix, Google Meet, or your favorite meditation application. Once you open it, you can see the Do Not Disturb symbol right on the status bar, putting your phone in Do Not Disturb mode. No more distractions until you decide to step out of that application. It is a lightweight open source app with a great function. Next, we have this application called Pixel Search. Now, I think this application has become very popular, but if you haven't heard of it or tried it, here is how useful it is. If you've ever found yourself swiping through your app screen or endlessly scrolling through your contacts or storage just to find something, this application is a game changer. It lets you search for literally anything on your phone, applications, contacts, files, and even web suggestions, all from one place. And it's got fuzzy search, so once you start typing, you get results from your contacts, storage files, music or videos, and even, as I mentioned, web suggestions, making it quick and easy to get to something on your phone. You could even type in something and you get options like search from Chrome, search from YouTube, Maps, X, Spotify, and more. It has a clean, minimal interface with a light and dark theme, so it fits right into any setup. And the coolest part, you can customize it to use your preferred search engine and even add custom app shortcuts. And I've always mentioned that I'm a fan of clean, modern material you design, and Pixel Search has a way of simplifying digital clutter. It is a pretty awesome application which you must have. Speaking of organizing chaos, let's talk about Pixel Bookmarks. I really enjoy the services of a link keeping or bookmark application, and I've tried several of them. And again, clean, modern material you design always brings me back to this one. And of course, you can save anything with link here, talk of reels, YouTube videos, X threads, web articles, and a lot more. And you will no longer forget where you stash your favorite things or videos on various applications. Pixel Bookmarks gathers all those random, valuable bits of the internet and puts them in one place. And it's not just a dump of links either. Each bookmark gets saved with a thumbnail and extra details so you are not squinting at random URLs trying to remember why you saved them. And they look clean and well organized. You can add notes to them, you can categorize your bookmarks into collections, making it easy to separate work from entertainment and others. And it has a search feature that is actually fast and useful. And so if you're like me and you save a lot of content and hate losing track of it, Pixel Bookmarks is a lifesaver. Next is this application called Stay Free. And I recently featured this application on this video at the top right corner, but it made this list due to a specific feature in it that I really think can be very helpful. First, it tracks your screen time across applications, websites, giving you detailed analytics that are actually easy to understand. You can set limits for specific apps and get alerts when you are about to cross them. It blocks distraction applications entirely for times when you need to focus. And what I love is the feature where you get to block specific parts of applications. So if you are used to losing hours to Instagram Reels or Facebook Stories, you can block just those sections without disabling the entire application. So you can go ahead and use the YouTube application, Facebook, TikTok or Instagram, but time-wasting parts like Shorts and Reels can be disabled. And I personally love that. It is a pretty good productivity booster overall, it is free to install as well. If you've been following this channel and similar channels like mine, you should know about this application called Blockit and how useful it is when it comes to focus and productivity. And again, if you are addicted to your phone and really can't help it, especially during work hours, just open this application, set a timer and really make sure you are going for it cause it brings total phone blackout and there is no way out until the timer stops. And the last resort will be you have to purchase parachutes with real money which can bail you out from a session. 
It is a very robust application and also the design is insane. It also provides statistics of your usage. It is a free application, actually the ultimate phone addiction blocker which you must have on your phone. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Those were some hundred applications that are genuinely useful and can serve you greatly. Check them out and let me know which ones stand out for you the most. Leave a like on the video as well and as always, thank you for watching.